Hi, I'm Tim Carter, Master Plumber, and you're here because you probably need a wet bar riser diagram. I got it. You need to get a permit. Guess what? I'm building a wet bar in a basement right now. Check this out. It's going to be a really, really great wet bar in just a few weeks. Here's what I've got going on. So the actual sink is going to be right here. And then there's going to be a countertop that goes this direction. Down here will be a refrigerator, freezer, and some more cabinets. But here is where the plumbing happens. Check this out. This is the actual drain line for the wet bar sink. Here's the cold water line, hot water line. And of course, the drain line comes down. It's sloping this way. Goes down, goes around the corner, and eventually way back over there connects to the drain line before it goes out to the sewer. Here's the vent line. You have to have a vent pipe for your wet bar. This is the vent pipe comes up. Once again, this has got to be a minimum of six inches above the flood level of the fixture. And this vent pipe needs to be sloped this way so any condensate in the pipe drains back down and eventually goes to the sewer. This vent pipe continues here up and it connects to the other vent pipes that go all the way up through the home and out through the roof to the atmosphere. It's very complex. You need to know the uniform plumbing code to get it right. You need to have the right pipe sizes. You need to make sure it's vented properly. If you don't know how to do this, your drawing's not going to be right, and you're not going to get your permit. If you need a permit, I can help you get it. Look down in the video description. Get in touch with me. I'm happy to draw your wet bar riser diagram. I'm Tim Carter, Master Plumber.